all started when I was uh, five. I was still a small boy, but I, um, I had uh, two older brothers and one big sister. And uh, my older brother uh, always wanted to experience experiment with, with stuff and um, he did it with a lot of music instruments and one of the instruments was piano and uh, so my parents bought the piano and uh, my brother started playing but soon he uh, didn't want to play anymore but little Lawrence was really interested by the, by the instrument so I started playing and uh, then I took lessons and so then uh, it all started. <laughs> not so because of my parents really they, they pushed me a little bit into it and I'm really happy about it because otherwise I would just let it slip and because in the beginning it was really hard because my friends played football or they did something else tennis and I was the piano guy who had study and, and so it was kind of hard but I really appreciate the, the support of my parents that they kept on pushing. So. I realized that um, it's good for my for my image or, or for my for my being. For example, other my friends started to appreciate my piano playing, and I, I could uh, play it for other people, and they liked it. And then I realized, well, I can I can do something with this. It's really it's really great to have the, the feeling that others appreciate you in in this. So I think that's the moment. Maybe in the beginning of secondary school, I could show it to the others, and then. From that point, it was it became important. So. In the beginning, I, it was more piano compositions, but now I, I start to uh, experiment myself with other, for example, with my computer stuff. But uh, I really like composing myself right, on, a, on an evening when you're alone and you start to think and you just you get you get the you get the mood, piano mood, and you, uh, something comes out your fingers and then you start to compose by yourself, and it's really it's a good feeling. So it's that kind of um, if you, have, if you have a feeling and you, and you can't bring it under words, you just play it and it's kind of a relief. A little bit, so. I enjoy listening to music so much that actually all the artists are my inspiration. And I try to pick some elements from that one or, or another guy and said, oh, I have to remember that. And sometimes I write it down for, okay, that bass is really good or that rhythm. So actually those are my inspiration. I, just, I don't have one person. So. Well, it depends, um, because I, I, I don't like practicing for my school anymore, it's, it's, it's not fun anymore, it's like 15 years doing the, the, um, the compulsory stuff, so uh, I just practice and if I think I, I can, I can play the piece, I just let it go, because when I was younger I kept on practicing so it would be really good, but now I just, I'm happy with just uh, maybe 75% of my skills, so, but I, I told you I like making compositions on my own, so I used that time to, to make my own stuff now. Hello, 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 hello. Hello, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Uh, tonight I'm gonna play a small set of... Uh, yeah, 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 that, uh, that one too. Uh, from eight songs or something, it's not a lot, so I hope you enjoyed it. sure okay now it can happen because I didn't find the good people yet or not the most the motivation yet but I think if I um, get back from Erasmus I really want to start I think now it's the time to start because I I know a little bit more about uh, the band stuff and then how to produce good uh, sound and, and techniques and so I think I'm ready for uh, to get a level higher now I 
think that this, this travel Erasmus made me uh, grow in that aspect as well.